dun 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 Hello and welcome to the stream. Today's pre-stream chatter was me attempting to hum a tune, but I wasn't even sure which one I was humming. It was one of those like dramatic march tunes, like uh, uh, the um, the Emperor's March or Darth Vader's March in Star Wars. Um, so today we do have a plan, which we will almost definitely not follow. Um, I do want to mention that I'm feeling a little bit absent-minded today, so uh, which probably has no effect because I'm always absent-minded, but so if I say really stupid things, that's normal. Uh, so we really don't have anything, uh, I don't have anything else to say about that. Um, the thing that we're probably going to get stuck on and it won't help us, which is our standard procedure, is I was talking earlier about maybe creating a client-side wiki, although obviously there are some limitations in what you can do client-side, uh, perhaps using uh, GitHub pages. So if people wanted to edit something, they could go in and edit, um, they could go in and edit uh, uh, GitHub instead of editing a, wi a wiki. Um, so I didn't find something that does that, haha. -ha. But this might work. Uh, th this is a um, this is a wiki that's written in their own MD wiki that they've created, and, and the the pages about the wiki are written in the wiki itself, so they do eat their own dog food. Um, I, I don't know if it'll do what I want, though, um, because some of the stuff I'm looking at... Well, let's actually make some lists here. Um, some of the things I like about having like a real wiki is, one is pagination. Um, because... Because... Um, I'll call them results, actually. Because, for example, if you want to look at, let's actually, uh, let's actually take a, take an example here, um, from my wiki. So, um, so let's see. So we're going to see some of the features that this has. Um, and I'm writing down some that I'm just thinking of myself. Um... Now, semantical inf semantical semantic information is something not even MediaWiki has. You have to add an extension to it to get that, uh, the semantic MediaWiki extension. Uh, but I want that with my with my uh, wiki. So we might see if there's a way to kind of squeeze that in there, or at least create a program that can semanticize sufficiently uh, for MD Wiki. So so let's look at some of the the issues we have here. Recent changes, random page. I don't care about. Um, I mean, that's because this is not a traditional wiki, that's not important. Random page, I don't care about that much. Help, I don't care about. Special pages, that we might have to look at. Printable version, um, yeah, actually I do want printable version. Uh, because the nice thing about printable version is it's clean. This has a lot of crap in front of it. Um, so I've never done this before. <laughs> is is what I say a lot. Um, okay, and and unfortunately this is going to be a little bit slow. Uh, I don't know why though. Uh, and one of the ideas using pure HTML is, of course, uh, the speed is purely based on the HTML transfer speed. Um, okay, so this is a very nice printable format, no links, blah blah blah. So we do want that. That is kind of nice. Um, permanent link, I don't think we're going to change it constantly, not a, not a big deal. Page information, page values. Now, page values might be the semantic information I was talking about. Um, but let me actually find a page that isn't the main page. I don't think we're going to get any page values here. Um, so let's actually go to a random page, which will probably be a strip. We're probably going to find a strip from, from somewhere. <coughs> I did cover that cough, so you are safe. Um, a little bit slower than I want, which, which you know, again, I very much appreciate uh, Referata for hosting this for free. So, um, old man Johnson, damn it! All right, fine. Well, let's actually go to the main page and look at some. Uh, we'll, we'll 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 pass by one other thing that's important to us before we do this. Um, damn, am I? downloading something really Hang on. I don't think I'm using the internet that much otherwise on my main machine okay 
So now one of the problems is if we look at strips, there's 2,000 of them. Um, so we'll, we'll use this as our example of where we need pagination because there's no way in hell um, that we're going to want to show all the strips at once, not even if it's HTML. Um, so we're going to take a look at this. Yes, I, I do apologize for um, the slowness. So this is basically list 200 at a time. And we'll use that as an example for how we need. So results, we do want to let the user actually control this. Um, because we some people want to see more, some people want to see fewer. Depends on what device they're on, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just making up some reasons here. Um, so this is this is uh, just you know a bunch of uh, let's go ahead and go to one of some of the earlier ones which I know I have some information on, um, and page values and properties are the semant. I think page I know browse properties is semantic information. Uh, I'm not sure what page values is, but I think it might actually also be uh, semantic information. So uh, okay, still thinking about it. Didn't have any. And I probably should be opening these in new uh, windows because I don't want to, um, I really don't want to uh, be reopening them when I need them. So let's take a look here and we'll see what our page, uh, our properties are. This is going, there we go. Um, properties like. And again, we may not need this, but we need something like it. We need something that says, you know, this um, this page has these characters, has this date. The hash here is important, but not for a reason we'll, we will discuss. Uh, although we do also want the concept of templating. So whenever we print a strip here, we print it in a very specific format, uh, which I'm glad I didn't uh, close that page. Uh, you know, we have this little box around it. We have the uh, date in emboldened. We have a link to the actual site. We have this little thumbnail, and we do have a link to the highest resolution. Then we have information about the strip, and that is called templating. And one issue is um, including hiding. Um, so what, what this is means is, for example, this strip has characters, but it's not a, it's not a member of a storyline. If it were a member of a storyline, it would say storyline with a link here. So we, we want to be able to list as many things as we want uh, for the strip, but if, there, if it doesn't show up for a particular strip, uh, we, don't want to, uh, we don't want to have it show up with an empty field here in the, in the wiki page. Um, the other two things we have here are prev and next, uh, which in this case, because we have a sequential order, um, we need that. So we will, we, that is going to be important to us because, we, again, some of this stuff we can do... Um, some of the stuff we can do, um, you know, in if we have a Perl script that converts this wiki to semant to a semant to whatever MD wiki is, we might be able to just add those at that time. We may not have to put it in the wiki itself. Um, so that's all I can think of at the moment. Uh, we don't really need a view source, view history, creating none of that is going to be important to us. Uh, it appears their wiki does have a a, a place for putting discussions and um, and comments. But I don't really want that. Uh, no, just... I mean, if we do that, I, I kind of want to do it in a better way, like, or edit uh, GitHub. Um, I don't necessarily want people to comment on, on these pages. Uh, you know, if they have a suggestion for improvement, they can edit the wiki. Or, well, we'll, we'll figure out something. But we don't, we don't want necessarily to have the same kind of... We don't need Discus comments, for example. Discus is a service that has free comments that you can sort of append to a wiki if you don't have a server to serve the wiki on. So now that's enough about this piece of crap. Let's move on to a different piece of crap. So yesterday I was babbling incoherently about uh, the coronavirus. Um, so we still have a couple of links up for that. Oh, and taxes also. And maybe some other shit. I don't really know. It wasn't yesterday either. So now, let's go... Uh oh we've lost it. No. Um... I thought we had this open, actually. <laughs> I lost it. Okay, to this uh, this uh, MD wiki that they have. Very exciting. In the sense that it's not. Okay, so the first thing we need to do 
uh, is to download it which through Git, and they do tell us how to do it. Um, interestingly, they use the the hash plus <coughs> excuse me um, an exclamation point and the and the um, file name or you know the wiki page name. That that's interesting because it means they're using obviously using JavaScript to do the magic, which is understandable because it is a client side wiki. Um, it's kind of bad because it means tools like well actually we'll put this down. Um, can tools like curl and wget get it uh, since they don't use JavaScript? And I'm guessing the answer to that is um, even if it's, it is no, and even if it is no, though uh, we have uh, the pages on GitHub. So so y even if you can't get this wiki over curl, you can download it using curl or wget. Uh, you might be able to get it using. Um, you can d always get it if I've decided to publish it on a GitHub Git. So that is uh, that is how we would do that. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay, and pr presumably all this happens in one freaking um, page that you download, um, which is very exciting. Um, latest CI builds. Well, I guess we can well, do the minified version. We might at some point want to look at the GitHub version because if this thing is as cool as I think it is, which it probably is not, I want to contribute to it. So we will create a directory for today. Let's make sure we're okay, uh, which I'll just call 2020.0325 and we will download. Okay, hey, where is it? Um, um, okay. I feel like I'm being led in circles. Okay, oh, here we go. <coughs> um, oh, here we go. I don't know why I just copied that link. I guess because I, I really, really want to do this. I could have just downloaded it from the browser itself. Okay, we'll unzip the puppy. Um, Okay, this is okay. We'll we'll leave it in the subdir for now. And so mdwiki.html is presumably the page of the game. Uh, this is not the minified version. Let's see if we can find the minified version. Um, I guess it's slim, but uh, so no, no, no. wait a minute. This doesn't look slim. Oh, there it is. Okay, because he wants his little message on it, um, which we can probably. Um, well, I don't know if we can remove his message, because I don't like him. I don't even know who he is, and I don't like him. Okay, so we've done the download part. That was easy. Now let's see if we can actually create some sort of page. Um, and I'm actually sort of curious how we'll do that, because, well, I guess even in pure HTML, you can read other files in JavaScript that are on the same server. It, there's not even a cross, there's not even a cores issue there. Okay, now it looks like the tutorials, yeah, do not, okay, it's Pomodoro time, but it's the first one, so we're going to skip it, as always. Um, okay, and they don't document its core functionality, which is bad. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and look at this, but I mean, this is not probably what we want. <laughs> They really want contributions, and I might give them if, if this works for me. Um, da, 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 da. Now, I'm not sure why we're saying seed here, but I think I think I'm okay with what I'm doing. I don't think I need the seed. Okay, wow, this is when they say incomplete. They're not kidding. Um, yeah, this is this is not cool. Well, let's look at examples. If you can't have a tutorial. Um, there are not a hell of a lot of sites done with this. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, oh, available at GitHub. Okay, well, let's see if we, uh, we, oh, I only downloaded the zip, didn't I? So maybe, maybe I'm going to be a little bit nicer and download the, uh, the Git, uh, because it now has things that I want. Um... Oh, it's actually a separate uh, repo. 
Uh, am I clothing or am I pulling? I never know, but whatever I'm doing, it's coming down here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's take a look at this and let's see what's going on here. I guess we should probably look at the index first. Um, no, bad. Bad, bad index. Let's look at the readme first. Um, that is just bizarre. Um, oh, okay, I think I see how we do this. Okay, so now, presumably, if everything has been done correctly, I, sh <coughs> I should be able to uh, contract the coronavirus. Um, if this works, I do need to make a note of how we're doing this. Um, so it is... Okay, it is pound exclamation point the MD page you want, presumably... Um, Presumably, uh, that would work if this were not MD. Well, maybe it wouldn't, maybe because it is Markdown. Um, so presumably, if I do this... Um, okay, but I can't do that. Hang on. I need to do it with a Bang Cafe. Let's see what that does. Yeah. Or, I need to backslash my Bang. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, well, I'm not dead yet. Okay. So what the hell do I need to do now? Oh, maybe Cafe has its own little uh, own little index page. Oh, shiny! It has some nice shiny, also shiny. Okay, uh, I don't know why I always look at the. Um, okay, so so it looks like if we go to this index uh, HTML page, magic will occur from from these files that exist around here. So let's let's do that. So let's go Cafe, and this is this is not a web server, so it's going to just list the files. Index HTML. And terrible things have happened. So now we will go and read the instructions. Although I thought this was what they wanted. Yeah, this this should be. Anyway, let's go ahead and actually look at the how to use these examples. Um, let's look at the cafe example. Very nice. Um. I wonder if it's a real cafe. Um, that'd be funny if it's like a fake cafe and <laughs> they actually did all this work for it. Okay, this is awesome. Um, well, it's not awesome. It's tolerably okay. Um, so what did they do here? Cafe slash index dot MD. What did I do here that fa- Oh. No, hang on. What did I do here that failed? Let's bring this over here. Um all right let me let me copy this URL and then change it to a, a local uh, local URL unless terrible terrible things have happened um, so this would be file slash 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 2020.0325. MD wiki example cafe this. Or it would not be that. Ah, uh, shit. On a web server there, I might be getting something here that I'm not getting, which is automatic redirect. Um, okay. Um, okay, so not great. Not, not un, not un, you know, we can always use, get, we can always use a web server uh, that automatically does this redirect, but it would be kind of nice if this worked. Well, I mean, it can't work because there's, um, okay, wait, whoa, 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 okay, so maybe I'm doing something even more worse bad wrong. Oh yeah, probably I sh should have actually done this. So hang on. Okay, now. Um, so there's no way this could work, I don't think. No. Um, so, well, yeah, I put this next to this and then I forgot I did that. Okay, hang on. 
And where's the where's the example? There we are. Okay. Bum, bum. Oh, there's a pound sign there. Oh, actually, that might be what. So we need index.html pound this, 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 and it doesn't work. Um, pound bang. The file does exist because something does show up. And yet, I'm tempted to see in JavaScript. Oh my god. Well, that, that explains it. Um. Cross origin, the same origin policy because it is not being requested by HTTP. That is just fascinating. In the sense of stupid. Okay. Let's learn more. Read all about it. Uh, um, okay. Um, make sure you use... Well, that... That's poopy. Well, that's... That's fucking retarded. I, I'm sorry, I mean... That's poopy. So I can't load files with JavaScript that are low... Which actually kind of makes sense now that I think about it. Um, I really don't want it to be pulling files out of my... Um, I don't really want it to be pulling files out of my, um, out of my, uh, well, actually from this VM I don't mind, but that could be dangerous. So now the question is how do we frickin' fix this? Uh, we did use GitHub pages for testing earlier, and I think at one point I figured I had to use uh, Emacs tramp mode. Uh, actually I do remember doing that. Um, and so we could do instantaneous testing, which is something that is much better than um, GitHub Pages has a delay, unfortunately. So let me see if I remember how I did that. And actually, I don't think it was that bad. So we have like a um, there was like a Rosetta. Is it Rosetta? Rosie? We called it something. So let's look at the directories here. I used to have that alias to something. Uh, BC Git Pages, BC Git Old, Spice, Yamak. Boy, I have a lot of freaking directories. HYG bin build mine test. I usually lowercase directories means I didn't create them. Okay, so oh, did I actually do that as a? I I couldn't do it as an S. I think I could do it as an SSHF mount. No, I couldn't because it's uh, the remote side is using something really stupid, um, like um, yeah, it's using uh, drop bear instead of SS. HFS, so they, they really fucked that up. Uh, I mean, I, I shouldn't have used Drop Bear, but I did. But they're still bad people. Um, okay. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out, either I can try to use what I did before using Emacs. Oh, right, when you use Emacs' tramp mode, you don't mount anything locally. You just kind of used it. However, however, um, I actually have another machine that I may be able to mount. <laughs> I said mount. Uh, it's called BC Info 4. I mean, that's not its formal name. Um, and I, that might be a lot. If I could SSHFS mount, it's a lot easier to test because tramp mode had some problems. Um, it did work, but it just was, was painful, I think, to use. So stand by while I do nothing. No, stand by while I try to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Which, you could be there a long freaking time, dude. Uh, let's see. What was it called? First, I'm going to check to see what it was that we were editing. Because I do remember creating something explicitly for this. Maggie! It was Maggie, because we had Maggie Fontaine. I created the user Maggie Fontaine for it. Um, so I'm pretty sure we have uh, Maggie. Dot, yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. Cool! Uh, this was our little test thingy, um, and the the problem with BC Info 4 is I'm not exactly sure what the fuck I'm doing on it. I mean, not that I do here, 
Um, so it might be slightly harder to figure out what the where I want to put this like little SSHFS. However, I still think it's a good idea because uh, SSHFS. If I slay say it, if I slay it slow enough, I blah blah blah. If I say it slow enough, it makes sense. All right, let me quickly see what I'm what the hell BC Info Four is doing, and and why. Okay. Wait. Do I have root on this? No, I don't. I just have a prompt that makes it look like it's root. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Um, stuff. Okay. Oh, cool. Wow. Shiny. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Um... And, uh, BarryCarter.org is the one that this one uses, although it's that's kind of a... Uh... Yay! MediaWiki has been installed. That was not very helpful. Okay. So I don't think that this is an automatic. I can't just create a directory called um, whatever I want and have it become one, because I think I have to configure that through my, um, through my cPanel, uh, which might actually be helpful to you. But despite that, I might do it. Um, okay, something's weird here. Um, okay, first I'm, I'm looking for, uh, you can, I know you can't see what I'm doing. This is sadness for you. Huh. Oh, oops. So I made a mistake that you can't see and I fixed it, so whoop, good for you. Okay, so actually, let's go ahead. Let's actually go ahead and use cPanel here. Um, hopefully, I won't expose anything too exposey. Uh, but yeah, let's. <coughs> excuse me. And then we'll just SSH in, and then I'll give you the password, and it'll all be good. Now, let's see if we can uh, use a. Because some people do like cPanel, and it, it's not. I don't have to use it, but I can. Um. Oh, okay. Okay, well, here we go. I mean, it's not a big surprise. If you can always do like a, um, I was going to say, I don't want to see, show you guys where it is, but of course that's stupid because you can always do barrycarter.org. It's that, and then you can do a reverse DNS on this, which I hope to hell is not incriminating. Yeah, it's Arvixi is the name of the company I'm using. And it, this is a shared host. So nothing too bad there. And now I need to figure out how to log into my cPanel. Um, this page is restricted! Oh, I'm sorry, the exclamation is under customer login. So I use the address... Ooh. Do I use Barry Carter there? Can I use Barry Carter there? Hmm, hang on. No. Yeah, I think... Uh, BarryCarter.info... The password is, of course, and then followed by, at least I hope that's what it is, remember me so I don't have to keep typing my password in. Show password, no, just kidding, you, know, you don't get to see it. Okay, again, hoping there's nothing too dangerous here. Um, hey, it's not cool. Um, no, 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 don't, don't show me my support code. Account, no, don't show my account info either. Crap, I might be in the wrong place. Um, in fact, I probably am in the wrong place. Hang on. That was really bad. If you see anything useful, use it. Okay, fuck. Okay, so let's just do this. R -Vix -A -C panel. And find out where the hell they have it. Um... Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't make me go here just to find cPanel. Oh. Does this take me to cPanel? Yeah, this is getting dangerous. Um, hello, Milkister Moo! <laughs> 
hello, Sergei. I see you have uh, hacked the account of my friend Milkister Moo and have used that hack to get new hacking information, which is exactly the right way to do it. So don't don't get, go out there yourself and hack people. First, hack someone who will allow you to hack. So you know, steal someone's identity first. Okay. So I am probably not happy about this. Um, this is actually a little bit too dangerous, I think, to be showing to be showing here. Support. Okay. I, I might have to actually get onto cPanel somewhere else. Give me a second. Uh, and then I'll copy that over here. Because I, th I think maybe I, I am exposing too much here. I'm showing too much. Uh, okay. God damn it. Alright. I do have this somewhere, but God only knows where. Uh, unless I don't, in, in which case, you know. Oh, here it is. Um, okay. Um, Jesus Christ. Why, why the hell isn't this where it's supposed to be? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that was kind of bad of me. Okay. Um, Alright. I hope this works. I'm not. I'm going to do it a little bit differently from the way it is in the other machine. Um, CPanel is running on this. No, it is not. Um, try this. Still not. God damn it. Um, hang on. I think there's a clever way to do it that doesn't require using the actual... Fuck! Oh, okay, hang on. Because it's the same machine, I should be able to do this. Booyah! And my... Yeah, I decided to make this password really nasty. I'm awesome. Okay, so Barry Carr, for whatever reason. And the password... Okay. Followed by... That, I think. Followed by... Hang on, I need to just correct that one. God damn, this is a nasty password. Yay, I'm in. Okay, so for those of you who like a cPanel, this is cPanel. For those of you who don't like cPanel, th well, this is still cPanel. It doesn't change based on whether you like it or not. Um, okay. So what I need to do is I need to set up my... Um, I need to find information on here that's con uh, that can condemn me and uh, show it to you. But also, I need to add some... Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm going to hope that all my add-on domains are, are well documented already. Um, terramapadventure.com is, is fine. Okay, usually I would do a Pomodoro here, but I'm going to use the excuse that Milkist Remove typed one message into the chat to not do it, to skip it this time. Because uh, that's the kind of guy I am. Um, um, Okay, what the hell am I doing? Oh, God. Um, I totally lost my train of thought because I looked at an email that has nothing to do with anything. All right, let's see if we can create... Uh, we'll go ahead and call him. <laughs> That's pretty nasty. Pretty nasty thing to say. Um, uh, there we go. And this is pretty good about just creating sort of what you would obviously want it to create. Uh, you do not need a... Um, all right, this should be this simple. Well, I certainly cannot do that. I don't know why the hell I wanted to do that. That is not what I was trying to do. Okay, maybe I didn't change one of the settings. Uh, 
Um, I mean, I've done this before. It's actually pretty easy to do. But have I have I effed something up here? Okay. I'm getting the suspicion that maybe I already have one of those. And which I'm going to... Oh, fuck. I do have one of those. That is the coolest thing. I don't know why I'm so excited. I, sh I should know that I have one of those. Okay. Now, even though... Let's see. So we need to do an SSHFS. <sighs> okay, what the hell is my username there? It's not root, because I don't have root access there. Um, this is fun. Um, um, motherfucker. Oh, it's the same password. It which uh, is really ugly. Uh, so it's going to be Barry Carr at Barry Carr dot org. Nope, Barry Carter dot org. I probably need to put it somewhere, so I will... Ooh, no, 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 no. Good catch there. I, I don't want to melt the whole fucking thing. Um, so it's going to be home Barry Carr. I probably want to write this down because I will have to do it. Maggie dot... BarryCarter.org, and here, if I'm being shifty, I could do it to. M do I not have a mag? Oh, I don't. Right, because I never created one. Um, I never had to create one, and I think it's going to complain now that Maggie doesn't exist. Yep. There we go. Now you can do it. Shiny. Yes, I do want to continue connecting. Because that's the kind of guy I am. Okay, so the password again. God damn it. If I have to type this in every time. Oh, God. Holy crap, that worked. I'm so happy. Alright, so there's nothing in here. Um, uh, well, there's... CGI bin is so ancient, I just, I just love the fact that they still create it. Because no one uses it anymore. Okay, so now let us do some Maggie. I don't know who Maggie Lawson is. Interesting. And now we're going to do Maggie.BarryCarter.org. Wait. That's not cool. Hang on. Um, it may be because it just got created, but it still should try to look it up. That is not cool. I just... Hello, Rolf! When Pearl ruled the web. Yes, sadly, that is true. I still like Pearl, but... Yeah, CGI bin... Um, yeah, pretty much gone nowadays. I even remember NPH. Non-parsing headers. Um, um, okay, so I'm thinking this is because... Um, uh, DNS hasn't propagated yet. I, I can fix it. Barry Carter at Gorg. Okay, so, um... So, this is a working... Oh, shit! No, did I mean info? No. I meant org. Um, one more time, and if that doesn't work, I'll tweak et Etsy hosts or something to force the issue. Or, I will just do this... Um, I got a very loud beep from someone, uh, which you probably heard, actually. However, I will be... Crap. Whoa. Oh, no, never mind. I really need to stop getting distracted by things happening on my real machine. Okay, uh, so let's see. Um... So apparently the, uh, I'm just being freaking impatient here. I, I could just put it in Etsy host if I really wanted to. All right, so now I'm going to do something that's very, very bad, uh, which won't work either, so double bad, is I'm going to query the root ser one of the root servers. Um, 
God damn it. I don't want to fuck you. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean I didn't want to fuck you. Although I don't. Let's see what my fucking... Okay, so this is... I'm going to say temporary, like a, like I'm really going to remove it one day. Uh, but it's going to be there forever. In fact, it's going to be there long enough uh, that when I change hosts, it's going to... Um, it's going to remain there, and I'll, I, it'll break things, and I will forget why it has broken things. So that, I'm looking forward to that. I, I mean, I know that's what's going to happen. What the hell? Where did my, where did my next go? No! Go away. Hosts. There we go. So that is going to be Maggie. WordPress.org. This is the root Emacs, so I can get rid of it. Um, and I'll even make a note. Remove Maggie from Etsy hosts. I won't do it, but I will make a note to do it. So that way it's even more of a failure. So now we should be able to ping uh, mary.barrycarter.org. Mm. Okay. Wow. WordPress, I'm losing my freaking mind. <sighs> By the way, I did warn people at the beginning of this stream where no one was here. Probably no one's here now either. I am a little bit absent-minded today, which means um, that somehow I'm going to be even less helpful than usual. Uh, in other words, I'm going to be somewhat less... I, I don't even... Yay! piece of crap. So wait, did I do... I did the SSHFS. That part's okay. I just need to do this over here and see it. Well, that's... Oh, okay. So this is the default web page. Um, and now I shall create upon myself... Nothing. Okay, there we are. Oh, because it is SSHFS, it's a little bit slower. And I'm going to type in the quintessential phrase. Oh, it's got to be hello world, doesn't it? Yeah. The quintessential testing. Oh, Jesus Christ, that took forever. Okay, that one's okay, because I, I reloaded the CGI page. Now, that one's not okay. Please stand by while I see what the fuckery is here. Did I actually just mess up? No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, that should work. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Nope, that should work. Um, so this... nope. This definitely should work. This is a pointer to it. No, okay. <sighs> okay. So now, if I could find out what I did with cPanel, which I probably got rid of because I'm stupid, uh, but I think I can get back to it. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Okay, uh, okay, now. Maybe I did not set up the add-on domain correctly. Which is sad, because I didn't really do anything special with it. Okay. Wait, am I limited to two of them? I hope not. That would be sucky. Oh, shit, this is not an add-on domain. I'm an idiot. This is a subdomain. So, I suck. Um, there we go. And I think, though, the document root can be, uh, this. What the hell was that? Okay. So this looks more, this looks more like the subdomains I've already created. Okay, solid. So that's why I was getting that error earlier about cannot park a domain in itself. 
And now happiness, hopefully it doesn't care that the document root already exists. And hopefully it finishes doing what it's doing before the end of time. What the hell? <sighs> Many days later, the web page returned. Okay, now it gave me a success message, so I'm happy. Uh, so we can't do this. Can't do that. We don't need to do that. So now bruised and battered, we return to org. Fucking piece of crap. It's possible that it wiped out the uh, index.html file because it recreated the directory. So that, that might be the issue. I'm pretty sure it's not the issue. I'm pretty sure something else is wrong, but I'd like to pretend. I probably have weblogs somewhere that's telling you what the hell. Fucking piece of shit. Alright, let's see if I have an error log here. Okay, cool. My connection um, died on the other machine. Um, but I can rebuild that. No, no, not that one. The other one. So I'm on the other machine, you can't see me, I don't think I want to... I'm not quite ready to log uh, SSH in for my uh, VM. Okay, here we have an index.html file that says hello world. We are in the directory maggiebarrycarter.org. Um, magic should happen. Unless I really fucked up that add-on to me. Okay. I'm not, I'm not above believing that I fucked that up somehow. Oh fuck! No! I didn't want to create that domain, you piece of crap. Okay. Um. Okay, this is good. I probably need to get rid of this and rebuild. Well, hang on. This one might be okay. All right, so this one has an index.html file. Um, so, uh, now for some reason I created Maggie dot, 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 which I need to get rid of regardless. No, I didn't. God damn it. Uh, if anyone knows what I've done wrong, you know, I mean, with this specific thing, not with my, not with my life. Um, okay. I mean, is there a delay? No, it just it doesn't like me. Um, the only thing I can think of is I've set it up wrong. So let me go back here. Um, I mean, I'm in. I'm in here. This is. This is the correct thingy. All right, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and rebuild it, and I'll even d delete the freaking directory. Uh, remove, be gone from this place. Yes, I'm sure that I want to do that. And now, oh cool, I was in that directory, I hope I didn't, okay, let's see. Alright, I'm going to remove Dura Maggie. Okay, directory not empty, well, okay. I will remove minus RF it, piece of crap. Okay, now the directory is gone. Um, I can create this correctly. Subdomain is just Maggie. You add the Barry Carter. Dot, uh, the domain root will be that. Uh, let's make sure you don't have anything that already thinks that it is that. And now we do a nice, lovely create. And you will not take three years. To, oh, that wasn't too bad. Cool. 
I'm pretty sure that I can't I can't keep this um, this SSHFS might have kind of wonked out on uh, creating doing something that's um, oh it's working I'm kind of surprised though because I totally deleted and recreated that directory so that should have affected the mount somehow uh, okay so now if we go to this it's still not going to work but now I should be able to fix it by doing this. Okay, so that's my hello world. It's being written to... Let me check to make sure it's being written there. I mean, I mean it should be, right? And it is written there. So now it has been written. It has been, it is bespoke. It is not working. Okay. All right. Let me look at my web logs to see if they're saying it, they, they're probably not saying anything helpful. Um. So where the hell is this page coming from? That's kind of weird. I mean, that error message looked like cPanel is putting it there. Um, all right, so I'm going to cheat now and see what files have changed recently on my remote machine. Uh, find dot minus, you can't see it, but it's find dot minus m min minus 5. And let's see what's going on here. Let's see if it's doing something really stupid. I mean, it is doing something really stupid, but I'm trying to figure out what really stupid thing it's doing. Um, that's um, um. Okay. I have no idea what the hell is going on. All right, let me take a look. The log show that uh, something that shouldn't have been changing just changed. So that suggests... Whoa. Why are those logs compressed? I mean, that's... I am flabbergasted by, um, um, why my logs are compressed, but they're very new. It's like they're compressing them in real time. So, oops, 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 I didn't mean to do that. You can't see what it is I didn't mean to do, but I didn't mean to do it. Okay, it is Pomodoro time. I will be back in two and two.
Okay, we are almost back. And we are still almost back. I'm still reading email I shouldn't be reading. Um, okay, now I'm back. So the question is, why can't we load index.html? Does it just take some time? No, it does not. Just, or it takes more time than we, we were looking at right now. Huh. Okay. Um... I could use an existing uh, domain that I know is working, um, but that wouldn't be quite frustrating enough, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I mean, I'm including the host header. I'm going to the right machine, because it's all on the same machine. Okay. I think I might have a test. I might have a test, actually, so hang on. Um, so I could just use that, although I'll be unhappy about it. Um, I think I had a test 2019 or something set up. Um, wow, I buried it somewhere. Alright, let's find it using our friend cPanel again. Or not our friend, we're pretty much our enemy at this point. Um... Uh, yes, yes, I need to log in again every single fucking time. Okay, now let's go back and look at uh, which subdomains I have, although apparently I don't really understand the concept because uh, I'm doing it wrong. Okay, so I think I had one called test something. Ooh, shiny. Okay, well, um, let's go there. I mean, la 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 la. Okay, appears I already have WordPress installed here, so I don't necessarily want to use that domain for other stuff. Um, I think this is all of them, though. I might be able to use barrycarter.barrycarter.org because I no, don't think I'm doing anything there. Um, and it has my name in it twice, so I get to be twice as obnoxious. All right. Oh. Yeah. Well, I could I could still do something in there. I could use su subdomains there. Um. But I'm still freaking annoyed by this. However, I am going. Let's go ahead and use Barry Carter. Barry Carter. I will go ahead and sudo emacs etsy host and get rid of this because it's now possible that is the problem. Um, that their own DNS isn't getting it or something. Okay, whatever. Alrighty, so I'm gonna have to definitely redo the SSHFS now. And I should be able to kill it myself. I'll, yep. Wait. Oh shit, there's two of them. And the other one is the one that I actually need because I... to my main machine. So, okay. So now... Barry... Oh... No, I... That might be too hideous. Um, and I think we're just going to put it on to <coughs> watch me die. This isn't going to work because that directory doesn't exist yet. Um, okay. Now this won't work until I type in the password, which I... I'm very, it's a very ugly password. Secure, but... So there's that part of it. Okay, hang on. Kind 
wish I knew what the hell I was doing. I don't have a... Quit. I have to type the bloody thing in again. What am I doing? No, that is very car. Okay, hang on. There should be a directory called this. Um, no, 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 no. I'm the somewhere I'm hosting it though, is it? It's um, um, public HTML. I'm a, such a wanker. All right, let me see what's in there actually. Uh, maybe there's some other crap in there. Oh, there is other crap in there. That's fine. Um, <sighs> yeah, this is going to kill me. Alright, I'm going to create a subdirectory called Maggie. With nothing in it. So now we need to go to this slash Maggie... Ta-da! Go ahead and bookmark this. And this is the thing I should probably be uh, mounting. So let's make sure we get this piece of crap right. This is the local part. This is the um, public HTML slash Maggie. Uh... And I'm going to change the password to ABC123. Uh, actually, I don't think they'll let me do that, but if I want to, let me, I'm going to have to copy the password, so I'm going to go do this. Okay. The sad thing is I'm starting to memorize this, and that wasn't it. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh. Okay, so now, most likely, I have not done anything good. Um, but let's, let's find out. Um... I don't even want this anymore. Um, I'm, I'm being a baby. Okay, so there's nothing in Maggie. <laughs> now, let's see if this... That was pretty damn quick. That was too damn quick. Oh, fuck, because I didn't actually mount it there. I hate my life. What the hell is in Maggie? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're not mounting on Maggie, so I shouldn't say that. Um, yeah, this is gonna not work, and it's gonna make it's gonna make um, it's gonna break something. Yeah, because it's that this is actually on the other machine, and that dot file I can't erase it like this. I can re erase it from the other machine, um, but I'll do that later. M meaning I won't. We'll never do that. Okay. Da da frozen. So I'm hoping now. <sighs> and by the way, I just realized that I actually did the wrong, the mount incorrectly. Okay, come on. Machine frozen. I should have mounted on Maggie because I'm mounting deeper into this. Um, I wonder if I can get away with that. Change the name of the mounted directory. Well, for right now I can't get away with anything, because this thing is freaking frozen. Or, let's see. So I want to move Barry Carter dot Barry... Oh, come on! Yeah, so it's apparently the SSHFS that's killing me. Which means I'll have to do it again. Which means I'll have to type the password again. Which means I will have to kill myself. 
So that's not that's not great. Is there? I think they, there's something seriously wrong with the SS. Okay, hang on. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. It's got to be just the one that I just the one I created. Um, clearly I left this thing up. Okay, but now I should be able to do... Maggie should still exist with that piece of crap in it. Uh, let's see if this is... What the hell? It's not even freaking mounted anymore, you piece of crap. <sighs> oh. That was interesting. Okay. Oh. That is not good. Let me go on to the real machine and um, fix that. I don't know how the hell that happened. Um. Um. I'm going to go ahead and remove that directory. Okay. Hopefully that'll fix some of this bullshit. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to recreate the directory called Maggie. Uh, after deleting it on the other side. And now, this won't work. But I'm going to pretend like it's going to. That's the other SSHFS. Oh, it's from here, isn't it? That's not cool. Alright, where the hell am I? There we are. Let me go ahead and write this down, and then... we I don't need to tweak it, but I mean... So this is the much faster plan to use VC Info 4, which, as you can see, sucks. Okay. So, I think you're supposed to get full path names, but I'm going to be risky and not do that. So this is a directory that exists remotely, mounting it locally, and now typing in my gruelingly complicated password, which is actually not... There's probably better ways to get it. Booyah! I said booyah, but I didn't mean it. Um, <sighs> All right, and this took a second to save. More than a second to save. Okay. And now, it still won't work, but let's see what happens. Ta-da! I forgot what I was doing. Hello, hello, hello. Fuser mount. Oh. Thanks. Thank you. That's useful. I think, though, I now have it nailed. Um, I can edit files directly on the server. So the first thing we need to do is kill all the lawyers. No. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to move over the, um, the file that does all the magic which is, um, let's see, okay, 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 I'll just go ahead and do this one, um, no, not move, copy, don't, not do that, okay, so now if I go to here, uh, oh, actually, hang on, I'm pretty sure the MD wiki page needs to be the index page, so yeah, let's do that. And now it should give me an empty looking kind of wiki. Ah, finally. And then, I think we're now back to our starting point uh, of where we can actually try to do stuff now. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna, we could copy over some of the crap from, um, from the sample wiki, just to see if that works. Um, examples? Oh, right, right. We were going to actually basically try to do the cafe example here. 
Um, so we'll go ahead and copy cafe into Maggie as a, as a directory. Oh yeah, I can't preserve ownership even though I said RP because um, I, the ownership on the other side is very different. So now let's see if I've got this working and if I have, I will be very happy. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I actually need to go to cafe, don't I? Cool. Stand by. That's what you get for doing a minus RP. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, I just need to fix the permissions on the actual server side. Um, which will take a second. Oh, okay, hang on. Let me see what the permission of this is. Okay, that's good. Let's see what the permission of this is. That's fine. And then let's see what the permission of this. That's not fine. Okay, hang on. Search mod. Group plus redex. So I guess I'll do a minus R as well. The curse of that. Minus capital R. Cannot read directory. I'm the freaking user. I can do whatever the hell I want. Oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't have my own read set. User is allowed to read this and everything inside of it. Oh, shit, I'm in the wrong directory. Hang on. Stand by. Okay, there we are. <coughs> um, I didn't cover that cough, so you are going to die. Okay, so now... Let's see if everything in here is... No, it's the wrong permissions. Um, Shamad minus R. Um, user group plus read and execute of cafe. So the next time I do this, I'm not going to try to copy over the permissions, because that was... Ooh, fuck you. This is still wrong. Okay. Okay. Well, it's not looking too good. Um, oh, you know what? Let me... Oh, okay. Hang on. Um... Those permissions look a little bit better. Yay, I've managed to copy someone's work in three hours. Pomodoro time, back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back. And we are back. 
Okay, so the question is how do they create this using the MD files? That should be a easy to answer question. And we'll look at the copies that are local. I mean, so let's see. Okay. Okay, so it looks like they're basically texting and putting text here. Um, and so is the navigation, oh, okay, the navigation's right on top there. So how do they put the navigation into the index? That would be actually pretty cool if you could do transclusions. Um, what the hell was I looking at? Hang on. So navigation, how do they get it to the index page? Oh. That. Okay, so maybe navigation is a special page that if you create it, it automatically shows up um, in every page. That's not great, though. That's not great. Because that is kind of hard coding, which is not good. Um, let's go to lunch specials here, because I'm getting hungry, and I want to order from a fake cafe. Um... Also, these are entrees, not entries, but what you know. Um, specials. Oh, it's not a binary file. It's just because uh, my the terminal doesn't like these foreign characters. I think we should build a wall against foreign characters. I don't mean people. I mean these literally these characters. Okay, so again, we don't have navigation included specifically, but it's showing up. Whoa. That's kind of cool. Um, okay. Fantasy data only. Okay, so the question is, where does this appear? This must be like some sort of footer. So let's see where that is going to be. Is that right here in this? It is not right here, so they must have the word fantasy somewhere. Oh, config.json, that's interesting. Okay, so config.json is probably... Okay, I thought that was maybe where they would put the word navigation, so everyone got a navigation menu, but that apparently happens automatically. But the footer text is coming from config.json, which is a good idea. Um, so, I want to see if there's navigation is here. Oh, okay. If the navigation include is being done anywhere, oh. Okay, so n this is um, this is the raw code, and I guess so. I guess navigation is hard coded, not great. Um, uh, so ar already we are seeing, uh, you know, cracks in the armor here. Um, so the guestbook, how are they doing that? Okay. So can we actually change the guest book? Oh, comments powered by Discus. Um, yeah, that I'm not going to need. I'm going to avoid doing that. Um, I wonder whose Discus this is. I mean, that's kind of weird because I don't think. I mean, it has to decide what disk is to connect to. And I think that might also be inside of... Uh, well, guestbook just has this in it. So index.html apparently also decides where the guestbook... This is looking worse and worse. Um, again, it is fixable, but at this point the question is, do we want to fix it? Um... Uh, this has lorem ipsum text in it. Okay, so this is this is pretty pretty basic here. All right. So the question is number one. Let's look at the thing, our list of features that we want. Um, okay. So can we do pag? Well, pagination is actually kind of a. <coughs>
kind of a biggie. I mean, we need a lot of data for that, which we can get. Um, I guess the other thing I don't like about this is it has almost zero documentation. Oh. Have people given up on this? Uh, hang on. This might be... So using a product that's not even... Um, Um, so they don't say anything about being expired here. Um, um, okay. Okay. Oh, there is a quick start tutorial. Unless there isn't. Okay, um, so this is markdown. It's great that this has markdown. I like that. Um, GitHub markdown. So the markdown is probably not going to have pagination or anything in it. That's a little bit higher level. Uh, and this is actually the GitHub markdown, so. Headers, good, good emphasis, lists, uh, links, uh, images, code and syntax. That's not bad, actually. Tables, block quotes, inline HTML. Uh, you, YouTube videos is kind of nice. I mean, that's a, like a one-off kind of thing, but okay. Um, okay. See, now this is actually, it looks like it is hard-coded, which is really bad. So I'll put that down. Um, again, if that's the only one that's hard-coded, I might be able to live with it, but if it's like everything is hard-coded, that's not going to be cool. Uh, okay, sub-menus. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, creating links, images. Ooh, pussycats. Syntax, am I still on the, uh, no, I'm on the quick start, okay. Okay, good, good, it does all this magic. Um... But, how do I do templating? I did put templates in here, right? That's really important, actually. Yep. Okay, so I guess we're going to do something that's going to prove this is not... Remember, our, our plan was to show this does not work for us. Um, let's see, templates. Template, that's fine. Um... Um, okay, let's take a look at this template file. What is this from? MD Wiki Seed. So maybe. Okay, so maybe we do, we should copy that too. That's that looks like it's worthwhile to copy. So we have already examples and the um, and the actual um, the code that we need. Let's do this. All right, so let's take a look at MD, let's look at MD Wiki Seed. So a quick read me on this. Um, basic. F okay, I get the feeling this is not going to be what we want. Um, yeah, this is. There's a site called PlaceKitten.com. Okay, I must know what that is. I mean, I kind of guess, kind of guess what that is, but. Why would someone create a site called placekitten.com? A quick answer. <laughs> Why? And now I must know. Is there a placepuppy.com? No, there isn't. Wow. I'll go ahead and bookmark this page. Uh, god damn it. I guess the nice thing is they resize for you. Um, the bad thing is that it's kittens. Okay. Um, so I get the feeling this is just going to be a very simple list of pages here. Um...
Okay, so you can have side navigation. I mean, that's... Uh, you can have sub-pages. Um, pages and subdirectories. Yeah, this is... Not really what I want. I mean, I could create the template in... Um, in Perl. But, I mean, I'm losing a lot there. And then pagination is another issue. Thank you! Because it's very, very important that we have an equivalent treatment for dogs. Okay, that's much, much better. Dogs are way cooler than kittens. So if you know of a site that has dogs eating kittens, that would be the ideal site. But, uh, but this is much better. Um... Okay, so let's see, we're saying da-da-da-da-da, we're going to be looking over here. We asked for templating inside of MD Wiki. Um, there's not a hell of a lot of results. Okay, let's take a look at what their config.json can do, although I'm getting sadder and sadder by the moment. Okay. Hello, Natalo. How are you doing, you wonderful person? And this time I actually remember who you are. I am not sad. Don't. Okay, no, I won't be sad. I will be... I'm sad about what I'm doing, but I mean, I'm not existentially sad. Um, and I do remember who you are, and you are a wonderful person. And you are the beautiful girl, which I'm not supposed to say because your beauty doesn't matter, but you are. Um, who studies, uh, who likes um, insects, which are pretty creepy. Um, but also we were talking about uh, genetic code, uh, ACTG, the list of, uh, yeah, isn't it though? You're bug girl. <laughs> um, except you told me that you weren't bug girl in high school because you only developed your interest in bugs after high school, which just is strange in another level. Um, but I do remember you and I were discussing genetic coding, um, and you even gave me a site where to download some gen genetic code. Um, I'm not... Your favorite animal is... The, the brown rat is not a bad animal. I mean, you know, of the animals that you have, it's a mammal. It's at least the same class as we are. Uh, it's a rodent. You know, it, can, it has gnawing teeth. It's brown. That's a gray rat. See, now this is... This is a gray rat. See, the brown rat... Okay, now, this might be one of those things that... Um, biologists do where they call it a brown rat but it can be more than just brown so let's take a look here well that one's brown let's look at images of the brown rat and see how many of them are not brown okay that's a brown rat that's a brown now well, they look pretty brown to me i think we got to go with uh these suckers i mean i don't, don't want to be a rat racist but brown rats think they got to be brown well that is that is not a good looking brown rat so, um, Rattus Norvegius. Do I want to know what that, Norvegius sounds like it's Norway. Um, I thought you guys used white rats, not brown rats. Since when did you start, see, and I think that, that, that kind of worries me. I mean, you were using the white rats, and now suddenly you've gone for the darker colored rats. Uh, is this some form of rat racism where, you know, it's okay to kill the brown rats, but the white rats, you know, they, they, you're not allowed to, to mess with them. So I'm going to look up this phrase because I really like, that sounds way better than brown rat. The Latin name always sounds good. Um, and let's see what the ratus norvegius is. Sewer rat. I, I didn't know there really was such a thing as a sewer rat as a species. Um, okay. So, wait. So you're saying the lab rats are of the species Rattus norvegius, but they are, um, but they are albino white. They're not, br they're called brown rats, but they're not brown in color. There seems to be some. There seems to be some sort of very racist joke I could make make there. Um, I, 
Okay, I want to see what the color is. Has to be some. Okay, they don't perceive. There's nothing in here that says they can be any. They're not allowed to be any color other than other than brown. Um. Oh. Okay. But wait a minute. Isn't that bad for testing? I mean, if you want to test rats, don't you want to be testing like healthy rats, not ones who are inbred? Because I mean. I mean, I, I could have sworn you guys got white rats. Were, like, white rat was actually a thing. Um, what? Fancy rat? What the hell? And that looks like it's a subspecies. It's a it's a clade uh, of or subspecies of the brown rat. This is very disturbing. Um. Hmm. So where the hell are the true white rats? Okay, but I mean, I guess the problem is if you're going to be testing inbred rats, is that an accurate representation of human beings? Uh, because if the rats are inbred uh, for being like diabetic, doesn't, but aren't there other things that happen when you inbreed for a, uh, okay. Worcester rat. Okay, this is getting surreal. Ah, that's what I meant. A lab rat. So let's go up here. Oh my god. So they are brown rats. Ah, that, he's kind of cute. I mean, you know, for a rat. Okay. Um. Okay, okay. Hooded rats. The rats are wearing hoodies. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh! I don't think this breaks terms of service, but oh! Feast your eyes upon this rat. Oh, that is disgusting. But it's medical, so it doesn't break TOS. Um, you're, you're, you are a, a scientist. You should know about this. You shouldn't care about this. Um, so here we have the, um, the thingy. Uh, this is the other thingy that connects with the first thingy. And down here, you have the thingies. Um, and this is like a giant fish that crosses across the rat. Um, for some reason. We don't really fully understand that. Um, well, this is one that's fully dissected. Um... I don't really understand. It's not labeled, so it's kind of hard to understand what the what parts are. Uh, this looks like a gallbladder to me. Uh, this looks like a fish that someone just put in there for fun. Um, okay, it is Pomodoro time, but I'm going to skip it because of Natalo, because Natalo is a wonderful person, and I love her uh, madly. Um... So, okay. Yes. So, eventually, I will just sit here forever while you're there and, I don't know, perish or something. Okay, so this is, this is actually a pretty good appetite suppressant right here. Uh, I mean, this looks kind of like a kidney bean, so, you know. But not enough like a kidney bean to make me hungry. So, this looks kind of like guacamole. But again, not enough like guac, like really bad guacamole. Um, oh, okay, um, and this, I think that's a penis, um, I don't actually know what the hell that is. <laughs> I think it's the gallbladder. Oh, is it the kidney? No, it couldn't be, it's too big to be the kidney. I mean, rats have teeny tiny little kidneys, don't they? Um, is that like an eyeball? But, I mean, you can sort of tell this rat's, like, laying down, he's very relaxed, and then someone just came and gutted him. So, you know, if you're a rat, don't get too relaxed, because this is what's going to happen to you. It's a warning to all the rats out there. You think this is the stomach? I thought the stomach would be yellow. Um, anyway, I think I've had enough of this rat. Um, so, oh, this is Place Kitten, which is stupid, but PlaceDog.net is very cool. Okay, that's enough of that rat. 
So this is placed so you can look at some pretty dogs here. Okay. Um, that kidney is huge, though. I mean, that's like the largest organ in the rat. That has to be the gallbladder. Uh, this is placedog.net. It's where you can find random pictures of dogs to fill your website. They're very cute, they're very small, and they're very dog-like. Ew, that's disgusting! Large kidney rats. Ugh. I mean, it would be kind of cool to have, like, super large kidneys so you don't have to pee as much. I'm more of a dog person. I like dogs, don't care for kittens, uh, or cats. Um... Yeah, I, I think dogs are pretty cool. And I, I, well, that is true. They probably do horrible stuff to lab animals. Um, so maybe that was a kidney. But, I mean, if you could get, like, a huge kidney and not have to pee as much, um, yeah, the cats aren't that bad. I mean, if you don't have a dog around, a cat's the next best thing. If you don't have a cat around, you know, you can get a mouse or a rat. They're still mammals. They're still within our same class. But I, I think you kind of, uh, you know, and I don't mean to be like racist or speciest or whatever, or classist. Um, but I think that you're kind of meddling with uh, people outside of our class, you know, not mammals. Uh, they're not as good as we are. You know, these reptiles and these insects and even the amphibians, I don't really trust them. I think we need to build a wall and only let mammals through. Um... And I think you actually had like a like an analidae, a, a worm or something. Yeah, those are those are lower and lesser species than us. They should. Uh, well, yeah, but they're they're not good for us. Uh, when they show up, you know, I'm going to stop doing this because it's going to get actually offensive. But um, but anyway, um, yeah, I think mammals are pretty cool. Well, yes, they are. But I mean, they, but what? Why do they belong with us? I mean. Our job is to destroy all other species, except for the ones we use for our own purposes. Um, maybe. I, I actually don't believe that. I think that really there's a lot of useless species on the planet. I think there's a lot of useless people on the planet too, but uh, I believe in human rights, so I can't, like, you know, I can't justify killing off people myself. Although, if the virus does it for me, eh. Um... Okay, but let me ask you this question. Oh, God, now we're getting into a debate about um, food production. In theory, if we wanted to, um, you know, I mean, pollination is, an, is one way, pollination is a natural way of transferring, um, uh, transferring genetic material between plants. Um, and it, it happens because bees and ants and all these other creatures dig around to get food from them and then go fly somewhere else. And, you know, it's basically they're carrying around dirty feet pollen. But we could do that ourselves, right? I mean, we could pollinate uh, artificially just for the stuff we want. And if you want, we can get on to a Discord so we can really beat the subject to death. Uh... No, I didn't mean... No, that would be kind of like doing it... The, I mean, we could scoop... I have watched one episode of Black Mirror, the first one. It was so dark, I can't watch it anymore. I mean, I like Inside Number 9. Um, you know, I like Amazing Stories. I like Twilight Zone. Uh, Black Mirror... Too dark for me. Um, I've watched other things like it, but uh, the Black Mirror itself was like, oh, that is, that is just fucking dark. Uh, so if you really do, if, if you're out there and you want to watch something that's uh, really dark, Black Mirror is, is good. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's much, much worse than Goosebumps or Amazing Stories or Twilight Zone or any of those other sort of uh, horror anthologies. Uh, but no, I didn't mean I didn't mean artificial bees. I meant we as humans can go scoop out pollen from one, or you know, as robots or make robots to scoop out pollen from one flower and dump it into another. I mean, we don't have to rely on an inefficient natural process 
to create food for ourselves. Hell, we could just, um, we could probably just breed plants or, you know, genetically code plants that give us what we want without even having to breed them. Um, and then eventually we do that with animals too. Um, so it'll be us and stuff that is bred to serve us. Both literally, both figuratively in the sense of metaphorically serve us, like pets, and serve us in the sense of food. And, you know, maybe we could even have one that, like, starts out as a pet, but when it gets older and less useful, it converts into food. So that would be, that would be pretty cool. So you have this constant supply of, you know, puppies are cute, young dogs are cute, medium-aged dogs are cute, and then after that, they become food. So that would be a perfect system. Okay. So, <laughs> so now... <laughs> what the hell was I doing? Um, oh yeah, I was looking at MD Wiki. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, uh huh. Mm. Okay, but let me ask you this question. I mean, there's a lot of... I'm going to make the statement there's a lot of life on Earth that we don't really need. I mean, it grows, it, it's whatever it does, but it doesn't really directly serve us. Um, most flowers, most plants do not produce food that we can eat. Can we, could we, basically raise the food we need in a very small area by using artificial techniques, things like... Um, you know, what do you, what do you call it when you uh, breed plants in water? Um, I forgot what the name is. Um, hydro, hydroponics. Hydroponics. Um, do all that stuff. What I'm saying is if we wanted to, and, you know, we, we, we sort of optimize for the stuff that we actually eat or stuff that serves us in some very useful way, like textiles, uh, we can do it ourselves. We don't, we don't need to do this artificial process. I mean, if you had a ro I mean, if you had a drone... You could, you could, you could pollinate square kilometers of rapeseed. I mean, they have crop dusters now that do, they, do, they don't do that, but I mean, they could do that. Um, I think we should basically, you know, um, we could create our own sort of garden of food that doesn't have to be spread out everywhere. That's basically artificial. Create an artificial sort of environment where we grow food. Um, and then to hell with the rest of the world. And I am expressing controversial opinion. Oh, hello. Damn it. Um, I don't know what that is. So let me... I should know what that is, um, but I don't. I will, however, Google it. Oh, I, I think I, you mean hydroponics and stuff. I do... I, that is, I think, where that came. Um, oh, cool. So maybe that's where hydroponics came from. So remember, that was like a thing when I was young. Oh, it's not there, though. Hydroculturing? I don't know if they call it that anymore. Okay, that, that's pretty good. Yeah. We need more of this. And we need more robots to do it. So we don't have things like the... Um, oh, I, I don't know if I'm going to be around in 30 minutes, Natalo, but thank you for watching the stream. Um, and Rolf WR, you could carry on the, uh, the, the argument, the debate, the wonderful discussion we're having. So I think we need more of this, uh, but more with also with, you know, androids and robots and whatever, um, more automated, <laughs> more automated um, uh, agriculture and more focused on what we as humans need. We can also do genetic modifications um, so we, we get higher yields. Ah. Uh, Okay, you can disagree with me. That's fine. Um, I just think we could do we can do better in terms of you two. Have fun. You don't need to work out. You look perfect as it is, but whatever. Um, yeah, I think I think that's the direction we should be going in. Um, oh, hang on. I missed this part. Yeah, see, I don't believe that. I think that's, I know environmentalists believe that, and they say that if you kill even one species, terrible things will happen, but I don't think, 
nature is that nature is kind of random. I don't think it creating that. Uh, um, ooh, shiny. Although there is overpopulation, so um, he might not. Oh wow. So I mean, I would have fed like the good people and let the bad people die. And yes, I, I realize that is extremely a bizarre statement to make. But cool. So the problem is we shouldn't necessarily be using better techniques in agriculture to feed more people because that's irresponsible uh, because, you know, we, we don't necessarily need more people. And yes, I realize there's plenty of room on Earth for everybody. Um, but I think the, the idea is we, we should do, can do a better job of feeding the existing people. Because um, the problem is if you feed more people, then eventually you're going to run out of, no matter how good your techniques are, you're going to have more people than food. So you need to do it both ways. You need to sort of say, okay, we're going to, you know, we're going to create food more efficiently, but we're also going to keep a form of population control because we know that even with the better methods, the amount of food we can create is limited. Um, you know, for all we know, one day we'll we'll figure out how to create food out of air, which technically is what plants do now anyway. Um, but I mean, in very large quantities, so that there's no real limit. Hello, Milkister Moo. Oh yes, I forgot the uh, the Russian hacker who had come in, um, which is I'm in, I'm impressed. You you um, you hacked out a Russian hacker. Um, but good to see you again, friend. Um, oh, Natalo is probably not actually. Um, so she's working out, but she's also typing. She's amazing. She can work out. She can type. She can look at dead rats all at the same freaking time. Okay, so so I guess I would say that, yes, that is what we need to do. But we also need to, to remember that um, unless we find some very, very new techniques, uh, increasing food won't help if we don't also limit the population. I don't work out at all because I believe, I think I, yeah, I think I mentioned my goal of becoming totally stationary. Um, if I could get this chair to convert into a bed, i uh, tell you, I would just live in this one room. Okay. Um, cool. That is, that's cool. So, multitasking Natalo. She's streaming, she's working out, she's in this stream. Um, what? Oh, yeah, well, my bot, okay, I will next time, unless I don't want to. Um, okay, so I think I've beaten this topic to death, but I think the general idea, aww, oh, I think the general idea here is um, I do not believe that nature is that well balanced. I think it's pretty random. Um, I don't think killing off a single species will necessarily disturb the balance. I don't think there is a balance. It's just sort of stuff happens, and uh, a lot of species are unnecessary. Um, so I'll, I will end with that. Um, and and I believe as human being as as human beings, uh, our job is to uh, destroy species that are harmful to us. That's for sure, and maybe start destroying species that, you know, neither help nor hurt us, the sort of neutral species. Um, because that, that is, as a species, dominance, uh, that is our goal. We, we want to become the dominant species. So clearly the ones that are harming us need to go. And, you know, the ones that are consuming resources without helping us, they need to go too. Because um, we, we, we deserve all the resources of Earth because we... Well, we don't, I don't know if we deserve them, but I mean, as a species, our goal is to, you know, get as many resources as possible. Um, so I am, once again, kids out there, I'm recommending kill the animals, kill everything you can see. Um, this probably shouldn't apply to human beings yet, so... Um, oh my god. Yeah, that one I'm not going to touch with a 10-foot pole. Um... Okay, so unless someone has more questions or comments on um, my play, my plan for uh, world destruction of all other animals and eventually of inferior people, I will continue. 
But actually, I don't know what the hell I'm continuing with because it looks like this is crap, unfortunately. Oh, hang on. Dynamic elements. Okay, this might be this might be useful. I don't think it will be because nothing has been. Ooh, alerts. <sighs> okay. So templating does not appear to... It might exist, but I haven't found it. Uh, I also have no idea where the hell I am right now. There we are. Um, let me go ahead and put in the word templating, because that, that might give us better... Nope. Added basic templating. Okay. So they claim to have it. Okay, that, that's actually kind of cool. Let's see what this does. Six years ago, by the way. Um, in JavaScript. In 750 lines. Many of which are crap. Any instructions on how to use this, I'm wondering? So coding without um, coding without documentation. I love doing that. I don't like reading it though. Um, yeah. Okay. So okay. So I think at this point uh, I can declare that I'm I can declare that I'm going to finish, and I just realized I really I, I really want to look at pagination. Um, okay, so this looks like someone's actually sa saying something about it. Um, that isn't the same page. Well, that has nothing to do with this, does it? Does it? I don't want offspring. Okay, I don't have to read it out for you people because you guys can see it. Um, I'm just going to point out, um, Natalo, just, I don't know, you know, you're a biologist. Uh, I do not believe that rats and human beings can reproduce successfully at this time. Um, so, uh, and as you point out, you're allergic, so you probably would not be able to carry baby rats to completion. Um... Apparently, um, Milkister Moo is starting his own MLM system. Um, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Your daughters-in-law should be hot. Um, so I guess the five offspring have to be male. Um, so Milkister Moo is starting his own MLM. You know, you have five offspring, and each of those five offspring produce three of their own. How many do the three... Pr I mean, how big does this become? And I'm going to skip Pomodoro because there are people in chat. Um... And I know Natalie's going to tell me I should do it anyway, but I'm going to pretend I don't see it. Okay, so I think we have completely now failed on MD Wiki. The idea was we wanted to create something uh, until they conk. Well, yeah, but you know, you can actually mathematically show that at some point in the future, assuming the Earth continues, you know, reasonably the way it is. Um, you will either be the uh, the um, ancestor of all living human beings or no living human beings because the percentage concentration either is below 50 or above 50 and if it's below 50 it just goes away eventually if it's above 50 it eventually becomes 100. Um, that is to say I mean you are a ancestor not the I mean you're, you're one ancestor of everybody who lives on earth or you're not an ancestor of everybody who lives on Earth. Um, I think the XKCD guys uh, showed that that is true. And it's not hard to prove mathematically if you make some assumptions about... Um, it's basically a question of how many successful offspring your offspring have, how many they have, and so forth and so on. Um, at some point, you either have every offspring or you have your line dies out. Um, I wasn't giving you that choice, though. I mean, I think I think somebody else gets to decide that. And honestly, Milkister Moo, I think you're a nice guy, but uh, you know, uh, Moo 
milk. It's a little cow-like, I think. Um, I don't necessarily think we want cow people roaming the earth. At least, um, now I don't have any kids, so this is maybe, I, I shouldn't care about this. Um, my sister has kids, um, who are, they're okay, I guess. Um, so we will have to either compete or we can, we can do it. We can do an alliance here. My niece and nephew can marry two of your five offspring, provided that they are, uh, because we do want them to reproduce. That this is not a this is not a gender thing, because we do want them to re reproduce. They have to be of opposite sexes. Or we need to figure out a way to let, or cloning. Cloning might work too. So lots lots of good stuff there. But uh, sorry, I'm I'm just sorry. I think you know, um, cows are cows are good for milk and beef. Yeah, I, I, you too late, too late. I already skipped it. Can't do anything. Um, cows are good for beef and milk and stuff, but I mean they they moo a lot. They're they're pretty big, um, you know. They they can be tipped over really easily at night. Um, some people line them up like dominoes, and you have like, you know, whole counties of cows going down next to each other. So uh, so that's pretty bad. Anyway, I don't. I think no anyway could no form of segue could could fix this, but. So we have, I think, decided now that MD Wiki is not the magic we're looking for um, to create a uh, client-side uh, wiki. Uh, but if anyone in the uh, chat has a suggestion involving wikis and client-side wikis or client-side things that look like wikis, I'd appreciate it. Although if you want to continue about uh, world dominance, that's, that's cool with me too. Um, so, so we have that. Um, so, so I guess the nice thing is we have sort of created a list of things we really want to have in whatever we end up using. Um, and what I just discovered is I apparently have a existing, um, regular media wiki that I could use, but I'm not sure that's, I'm not sure there's much gain in converting a semantic media wiki to a regular uh, media wiki. Okay. So now, the other things on my list of things to never do. Um, right now, if you make an error in spice, it tells you that the spice error messages are customizable um, every single freaking time. So what I want to do is I want to change the me messages and customize them to stop saying that they are customizable. However, we will skip to this. Um, I couldn't install GraphSim on my main machine. Um, in theory, I shouldn't be able to install it here either, but sometimes magic happens. And GraphSim is a uh, is a gravity end body simulator, uh, and I'm going to compare the results that it gives me to the results NASA gives me. Um, And so let's go back into the directory of the day, as I call it. And once again, I've decided I'm going to um, use curl to download it. Um, I think this, yeah, this does create a directory. And then there should be just, you just should need to type make. Um, <coughs> Um, so I think the default bake file doesn't do anything. Oh, hang on. Um, that's the distributed make file, and I will copy the, oh, hang on. Oops. Maybe, maybe this is why it didn't work. Okay, hang on. Am I a professor? Not anymore. I have shunned professing. Okay. Let me see if these are some of these are identical to what's being sh shipped. Okay. So I guess I am confused. I should be replacing makefile inc with makefile inc G unix gcc? I mean that seems like what they want me to do. 
and copy it to make file. Okay, so, but the one that comes with it is none of them. That's kind of cool. So we will make it, call it make file ink dist, and then we will copy over big file ink. Unix to make file. Ah, your mama. Ink. And then we're going to do a make and watch it fail. Oh, shiny. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad there. Oh, I ran into the same problem with the other one. Direct CTSQ, whatever the hell that is, is not defined, and it's really hard to get, or I couldn't find a way to get it. I do talk... You know, everyone has said that. Everyone says that I... You know, and I say I've got a terrible voice, which I do, um, but everyone says that I talk in a way that sounds like I'm teaching. Um, I guess, I mean, I was a professor. That's, that's probably why. Um, I don't know. No! Shush! Jesus Christ. That would be totally unethical. And no, I mean, that, that, that is, that is creepy. That is just really, really creepy. Um, I joke, I can joke about, you know, not, not, not in real life, but I could joke about, you know, hot students. Uh, but I'm talking about the ones that are, I help, for, people I help for free, um, that are students. That, I could sort of joke about that, but I mean, no, 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 no. I mean, that is, that's a very ugly issue that's occurring in universities now. Um, you know, even, you know, whether you, yeah, I mean, unethical and just wrong. Uh, I, I like, I like hot chicks. I like young girls, but, you know, no, no. I mean, okay, good. I know you were joking. It's just... What bugs me about that is I think, um, I, you know, obviously I'm a math professor. Um, there's so few girls in STEM. Um, and, you know, this is, this is not one of the problems you want to have in, in, in school is that your professor hits on you. I mean, you know, girls probably face a lot of problems when, when studying STEM. But this is, this, we don't need to create more of those. We are... Uh, uh, there's, you know. Anyway, I think I got overly sensitive about that. So, uh, so anyway, what the hell am I what are we gonna do? Oh yeah, we we're gonna decide this doesn't happen either. Okay, now there is a way to get Stellarium to use DE four thirty one, the the uh, ephemeris. Uh, and I do have obviously do have DE four thirty one um, installed because I use it. So the, the, this would be a way to connect it if I wanted to do that. However, I'm extremely disappointed by this. So, um, oh, adding com comments to the Nicole program, that I might want to actually do. Um, sorry to jump on you there. Uh, I, I think I was overly harsh. So sorry about that. I just, I just, just felt dirty for some reason and not dirty in a good way. Okay. So now I've gotten results for like all the asteroids, not good ones, but um, I mean, not many, obviously, because there's not many occultations. But now we need to look at the uh, comets. That's that. Yeah, don't worry about it. Now I feel bad. I feel bad about making um, Astro. OK, so now we need to do whatever the hell the I th I'm pretty sure these things are comets. I'm pretty sure these are, uh, these NAFE IDs are comments. Uh, let's go ahead and put one into Google. That might not even, even that might not work. Um, but I think these are... Yeah, here we are. Um, and this should actually be in one of my, one of my files. Um, yeah, the TF file is the one I want. Um, okay, what the, are these stations? Anybody, oh, let's, let's go ahead and Google this. Great. Oh, comments might help. Oh, station location. So these are stations on Earth. Um, oh, that's
that's not helpful. I mean, we don't... They can't occult stuff. Because they're on Earth. I mean, they can if you stand next to one and... But, okay, so that's not... So th I probably should have never run it on these. So that was a mistake. Um... Okay, and we're also missing it here for 399023, which I'm pretty sure is an asteroid. Um... Hmm. Okay. And that one, I'm guessing, might actually be in my NAFE IDs file. Actually, it might not be because it's not it's not um, famous enough, but DSS-23. What the hell is DSS-23? Okay, are these uh, satellites? Um... Oh, these are these are tracking stations, so they're not in space either. Good deal. These are asteroids. Okay, so have I actually done it? Have I done it for everything that's doable? Uh, let's see. I think I might have. I think I might have nailed this. So literally, I've computed every occultation uh, for things known to uh, known to spice that has the you know that has the property that it is theoretically can occult something. Um, now, do I believe that? Let's see. Somewhere I have a list of everything that's in, in that... Um, extract. There's a list I have of everything that Spice knows about. There it is. Um, that's 890 objects. I think, yeah, I think maybe because the 399s we know are uh, not useful. Okay, so the next question is where the freak do they keep the comets? What, what are these? 100036. Okay, and do I have I created a results file for that? Oh, 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 I have not. Panic. Um, and I'm 90% sure what's going to happen is it's going to tell me it doesn't know the radius of these comets. And... Um, wait, 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 where do we go? Okay, wait a minute. There's something strange here. Uh, this better be known to freaking freak freak. Um, so this is telling me that Spice does not have an ephemeris for for hit Comet Howie. Um. This worries me. Alright, so let's see if we can find a comet ephemeris. Um, comet Halley ephemeris. Um, and we want. Um, oh, this is in the small body database. Okay. Cool. Um. Oh, there it is, ephemeris. What? That's what I wanted? Okay. So does this not have a BSP file? I will be annoyed if that is the case. Must include BSP. Oh my god. What the hell is this? Whoa. 
some bizarre, obscure BSP file or CMT file that contains data for motherfucker. So this is clearly not going to generalize. This doesn't have all the comments in it. Okay, so now I need to figure out what the hell I have in the small data, small body database. It's hard to say. Parse, okay, good. No, 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 Small body data, small body database, where are you? Scooby-Doo, where are you? Small body database. I'm just going to stop typing. Um, okay. So that's where this is. So I'm beginning to think... I'm beginning to think we're going to have a problem here. Um, yeah. Because this does not include an ephemeris. We might be able to create one out of the elliptical coordinates, but that's... Hello, Natalo, you're back. Uh, let's see. Fish code. Yes, very, very nice fish there. Um, so it looks like I'm going to be stuck here. Unless I want to convert these... Uh, these are asteroids. Hang on. Are these... Fuck, are these comets and asteroids? That can't be true. It's not possible. All right, so let me let me do a busy grep on this. Gosh, I wish I Colonel small body All right, let me just do a grep minus i for Halley, because it does have a name. <sighs> this is ugly. So for some reason, I never ran it on comets. Or... But if it's in here, I would have run it. Oh, no, 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 no. Because if it's not in Spice, I wouldn't have run it. Hello, hello, hello. Um, you know, are you almost... I mean, the, the weird thing is we're actually going to go... Um, if you end, end your stream and come back, although I might get, I might get frustrated. There it is. 1P Haley. Okay. So it's in the small bo body database, but it is not, we don't have an ephemeris for it. At best, we have uh, elliptical elements for it. Whew. All right, that wasn't fun either. Okay. Um, well, let me quickly look at the list of stuff that I'm never going to stream, maybe. Uh, at some point, I want to look at quantum computing, but there's a 50-50 chance I'll do it today. But um uh, Let's see. Oops, four bits. Okay, let me see how long I've been streaming real quick. Uh, streaming, streaming, streaming for two... F I've been going for two freaking hours um, and 14 minutes. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so unless someone has comments, questions, uh, whatever the hell you want to do, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream now and um, hopefully find something that's more successful to look at. Okay, thank you for watching and goodbye for now.